am working on baby shower details today and I'm so excited. Apologies, I have a little bit of a cold so I'm like really hoping this goes away by this next weekend. But Taylor just took Shay to a football game so I literally have like six uninterrupted hours of getting some of this stuff done. So I was gonna share this with you, I'm really excited. Oh, before I share like what's just come in just now, I'm gonna insert a picture of like my inspo. I put together a little inspo board just to like keep me organized and kind of like focused when I'm ordering stuff. Here's my inspo board. I'm really focused on like a lot of tonal colors. If that's not surprising with you, I've kind of leaned towards like a gray with like little beige undertones, but mostly gray because I feel like gray goes really well with blue and we're having a boy. So we're gonna have little touches of blue with flowers mostly. I did get these blue candlesticks from Doff Nagel, which I have, hold on, let me show you. I just put these away recently because I was styling for fall. But these Doff Nagel candle holders, I already had one set of three. They come apart, you can like build them up, whatever. So I already had this like one set of three, so I ordered another set of three, and I'm gonna put them kind of like sporadically on the table as the holders for the candles, which again, I think silver goes really well with gray and blue, of course, so we did that. I already had these gray candles that were already in my Stoffnagel candle holder earlier, so these are gonna match also, and I think I might use these in addition to the blue ones that I picked up from them. So I actually like the gray better, which again is not surprising, but I do want to do pops of blue flowers and I figured we could do blue candles to just kind of tie in some of like the baby boyishness. And I think I'm going to do a little brunch. I haven't decided yet if I want to set the table up outside, which it might be kind of nice because it's October. The weather has been so nice, but it was kind of chilly. So I'm trying to decide next weekend if we'll set the table up outside or if we'll just do it here and I might do it like literally in this like hallway situation because we have space here so yeah my goal today is to go to michael's and get some thread to sew i did not mention this yet so let me share with you what i'm about to do i ordered this massive <laughs> roll of linen in this like gray it's really beautiful linen i ordered it on etsy i'll link it below but basically this company like sells these huge rolls of linen and i am very specific as they say and I wanted a really specific look on this tablescape and I could not find any linen tablecloth and napkin combination that I really loved that wasn't super, super expensive. So I'm gonna make my own. I'm like laughing at myself kind of because this is kind of a bigger project than I really wanted to take on. I can use these for years to come at any of my future parties and I feel like gray is like a good grounding neutral. And this is like I said, kind of like a beigey gray. My couch is beige. So maybe it's more of a beige, I don't know, but it has like tints of gray. This bear is gray. I did get one of these oversized bears, which we'll set up as decor. Shay keeps saying that this is her bear, and I'm like, I guess it could be, but I really did get it for your brother for his party, so they can share it. Let me show you really quick the um, plates that I got. So I ordered, placed an order on Ikea for some plates. And these are the plate setup that I'm gonna put out on the table. Let me share that. And I think it's gonna go so beautifully together, especially because I feel like this has a tint of blue, which is honestly didn't know based on online, but I think it looks, it's gonna look really good with like the blue flowers and then just like the hints of blue that I'm gonna put around. So yeah, these plates, buying them was actually cheaper than renting, so little life hack for you especially if you like to entertain you'll have those forever and then i ordered these glasses thinking they were water glasses and they're definitely shot glasses i should have known by the price i just figured they were like from ikea so they were super cheap but so i can't use these so i need to figure out what to do with glasses these are the plates they are called gladdelic and I'll link these down below too, but I did get the salad plate, the dinner plate, and then I ordered a few of these just bowls, like the smaller bowls, that I'm gonna see if to put the, like a flower frog in there to kind of hold the flowers, cause then that'll all match. I thought I ordered a second set, and it's not in there. 
Hmm, that's weird. I might place another Ikea order before the weekend, so we'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to Michael's to get some thread to match the fabric. That's my goal today, is to at least get the napkins done because I think the tablecloth doesn't really matter if I make the edges like perfect because I can just kind of tuck them under and make it look kind of lived in and not as perfect. But I do want the napkins to look nice. So the goal is to get the napkins kind of done today. I need to wash all these plates and get some gift wrap. Sorry, really quick before I leave, I wanted to mention I got these flower frogs off of Amazon and it's a perfect fit in these little super tiny bowls. I'm not sure what these ones are called from the same, it's the same collection. These are the really, really tiny like sauce bowls almost. So I think that these will match on the table and then flowers can kind of come out the top of them. So that's gonna be so pretty. All right, I am working on cutting out napkins. I've already done 12, I did 12 of them last night. The one thing that I did realize is like cutting <laughs> linen, it's not a perfect square, which my type anus is a little bit stressed by that, but it'll be okay, they don't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna cut out the rest, trying to get 20 napkins, and then the rest of the fabric we'll use for the tablecloth. for the baby shower, if I can get out of this car. How do you unlock this car? Oh. I think Dad had to get out first and he did. Okay. I'm locked. It should be unlocked. Is it a child lock? You might have locked it. It's unlocked now. No. I did it. Go ahead and open can it Can you just open me out? Thanks. <laughs> All right, we made it. I guess we'll go to the blues. Good luck with everything. Bro. Thank you. I was just gonna look at him. I oh, want the little mayish sticker. That's perfect. Thank you. It's baby shower day. I am about to start decorating a tablescape. I feel like I don't have an excuse to really. I feel like I never have an excuse to really do like a tablescape and so I'm using my baby shower as I don't know just an excuse to like be a little extra so I did like a whole setup and I'm gonna go put it together we have I think 18 people coming but the good news is we have need more chairs so we can put some at the end if more show up but yeah so I'm gonna get this ready and let's get started <music> These ones didn't last. These I've had these for two days. I think you're supposed to cut these leaves off anyway because this part still looks okay. This is what we're about to do. All right, I'm about to do the arrangements, the flower arrangement. You guys know this is my favorite part, so I'm like super excited this little project that I'm gonna put together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a flower frog, which I just got off of Amazon, 
and they fit perfectly. They have sections, so I push them down into this little sauce bowl. So I'm gonna put the flowers so that they kind of like stick up and out, and then I'll put some water in here as well. And it'll be perfect. I'm also using some of these irregular shaped small bowls from H&M Home. These match pretty much, pretty closely to the linen tablecloth. And so I wanted to make like a bigger arrangement in this one, a little bit smaller arrangement in this one. And it just kind of like switches it up because they're different shapes and sizes. I think they'll look good. And they're really inexpensive and obviously you can reuse them in your everyday. <laughs> Thank you.